Good day everyone! Today let's talk about the Newton's second law of motion which is the law of acceleration. The law of acceleration states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force acting on it and is inversely proportional to its mass. So in equation, A is equal to F divided by M, where A means acceleration, F for force, and M is equal to mass. Other equation that you should know is that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now, if you are looking for the mass of an object, force divided by acceleration. To complete our formula, again, acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So take note that there are three important terms here that you should be familiarized with. We have the force, mass, and acceleration. Force is a vector quantity. It involves interaction of objects, whether they are pushed or pulled. Its as a unit is Newton represented by capital N. Mass is a scalar quantity. It measures the amount of matter that an object has. The standard unit of mass is kilogram in symbol kg. On the other hand, acceleration is a vector quantity which measures the change of the object's velocity with respect to time. Its unit is meter per second squared. Now let us study the relationship between force and acceleration if mass is constant. The lesser the force, the lesser would be the acceleration. But the greater the force, the greater will be the acceleration. If you double the force, the acceleration will also be doubled. Now let's apply the law of acceleration. What do you think will happen to the acceleration of the car if its mass will be doubled and the applied force will be kept constant? A, the acceleration will increase. B, the acceleration will decrease. Or C, the acceleration will be constant. All right, the acceleration will decrease. Now, what do you think will happen to the acceleration of an object if its force will be doubled and its mass will be kept constant. A, the object will create greater acceleration, or B, the object will create a lesser acceleration. Of course, the object will also create a greater acceleration because the force is doubled, therefore, acceleration will also be doubled. Now, why is it easier to push an empty cart than a cart full of groceries? It's because it is easy to push an empty cart than a cart full of groceries because lesser mass means lesser amount of force is released to make it move. Let us now solve problems using the Gressa method. What do we mean by Gressa? Gressa means G given, R required, E equation as solution and A answer. What is the net force on a toy rocket with a mass of 9 kilogram if its acceleration is 45 meter per second squared? Using the Gressa method, our given in the problem, we have mass 9 kilogram and acceleration 45 meter per second squared. What is required is the force or F. Our equation is force is equal to mass times acceleration, which is the formula for force because what we are looking for in the problem is the force. So for our S or solution, just substitute M and A with the correct value. So we have F is equal to 9 kilogram times 45 meter per second squared. So our answer is 405N or Newton. N because the unit of force is Newton. Let's evaluate. What relationship exists between mass and inertia of the body? A, the greater the mass, the greater the inertia. B, the greater the mass, the lesser the inertia. 
C, no relationship exists between them. Or D, both A and B. Answer, letter A. The greater the mass, the greater the inertia. When you're in a moving car, then it suddenly stops. What will happen to your body? A tends to move to the right. B tends to move forward. C tends to move to the left. D tends to move backward. Answer letter B tends to move forward. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Credits are also given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day.